Gracie, a cup of coffee before I start out. Why the worried look? Worried? Oh, no, Gracie. I was just wondering where I'm going to find some more prospects. Prospects? What are they? Prospects, Gracie, are people who need insurance. Well, don't look at me. I just took a policy from you last week, remember? More prospects. Where am I going to find them? How am I going to get them? Take it easy, Jim, old man. Take it easy. You've gotten over tougher hurdles than this before. Prospects are all around you, wherever you go. Is that so? Of course it's so. Take this store, for instance. Take Walter Smith, who owns it. Oh, I know he's crowding the retirement age, and he's protected with business insurance, family coverage, and retirement income. You helped him set it up. You've done a swell job with Walter Smith, adjusting his program to fit the changing conditions through the years. And, well, he isn't exactly a prospect himself. Walter Smith is a source of prospects. As a satisfied owner of life insurance, he's actually a booster for you and Prudential. You might call him a member of your unpaid sales staff. Walter Smith is frequently, with a word here and there in casual conversation, paving the way to prospects. Prospects willing to talk to you and trust you because they trust Walter Smith. Uh, oh, Jim, uh, step here a minute, will you, please? Uh, Mrs. Hardy, uh, meet uh, Jim Reynolds. He's an agent for the Prudential. How do you do, Mr. Reynolds? I'm very glad to meet you, Mrs. Hardy. Are you a newcomer to our town? Yes, Jim. Mr. Hardy is the foreman at the new plant uh, out on the south side. I see you're getting a prescription filled. I hope no one in your family is seriously ill. Oh, no. Judy has a slight touch of the flu. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope she gets well soon. Oh, everyone in town seems to have it. And our kids seem to get everything that's going around. <laughs> well, perhaps when she's better, you'll allow me to call on you and Mr. Hardy to talk to him about his life insurance. Oh, well, I'm sure he wouldn't be interested in buying any insurance. I don't think he'd object to talking to you. If you want to come around, we live at 195 Benson. Thank you, Mrs. Hardy. Perhaps I can be of some service to him and offer him some suggestions on his present life insurance. I look forward to seeing you again. Thank you. Oh, just put that in my account, Mr. Smith. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mrs. Hardy. Thank you very much, Mr. Smith. You're welcome, Jim. Prospects are the foundation of this business. The success of every prudential man depends on prospects. People approachable under favorable circumstances, in need of insurance, able to pay for it and acceptable as risks. That's right, Jim, old man. Success comes from sales. Sales come from interviews. Interviews come from prospects. There are really five fundamental factors in successful prospecting. Remember one. Prospecting requires awareness. It's the ability to spot people, to get information about them, and to translate that information into their total insurance need. Remember two. Prospecting must be a continuous process. 
you must constantly replenish your list of prospects. Remember three. Prospecting requires the systematic coverage of all sources. It's a part of every contact and every conversation. Practically every house, every place of business, every shop is a source of good prospects. Remember four. Prospecting requires the recording of information. Prospects are so important to your success, you can't depend on memory alone. Remember five, prospecting is the key to sales. Sound prospecting opens the gateway to outstanding production. Yes, prospecting and sales go hand in hand. The five fundamental factors that make prospecting the partner of successful salesmanship lead right back to Walter Smith. He's a center of influence in his business. He's also a center of influence in his family. His children are grown up now, grown up and making homes of their own. There are new prospects for you. In this business, you're constantly face to face with the future. It's the first baby for Jane, and she's happy. Happy because it's a boy, and her husband wanted a boy. Here is prospecting in the raw, and a most opportune time to talk insurance needs. For Dad is a prospect now, there's more family and more need for life insurance on Dad's life. This little fellow might be president of the United States, but whether he will be or won't be, he's sure to need life insurance the same as his dad. So, let's start his program now. When he's old enough, he can become a partner with his dad and help pay for his own insurance with the money he makes from odd jobs. It will help him learn the lesson of systematic thrift. In addition, it may be the first step in providing for his future education. A college education costs money, but it'll pay big dividends and extra earnings if he has the opportunity to get one. Dad is a prospect, and this is an ideal time to discuss his family security program with him. And remember, this little fellow is a prospect too. Yes, sir, a seven pound, six ounce prospect and growing bigger all the time. Make a note of it. Something new has been added to the family. It's a brand new house for Bill Smith, as beautiful a place as any man could ever hope to call his own. In another 20 years, when the mortgage is paid off, well, he can call it his own home anyway. What's the difference? The difference is making sure with mortgage redemption insurance, and that makes you, Bill Smith, a prospect for specific coverage. Prospecting requires awareness. And generally, it isn't something the size of a house that tips the information. It's usually a little something that drops easily in the course of conversation. Something perhaps about the neighbors. Gossip, a gag even. The translated means insurance needed. When prospecting is a continuous process with a prudential man, when it's automatically a part of every contact and every conversation, the family of one prospect leads to the families of friends and neighbors. That new doctor in the neighborhood, he's building quite a practice. Hmm, he ought to be a good prospect. Yes, prospects are everywhere. And by the way, Bill Smith, that raise in pay that gave you the courage to buy this new house should also make you interested in some additional income insurance for your family. Make a note of that, too. Prospecting requires the recording of information for intelligent selling and service.
prospecting requires the systematic coverage of all sources. And that, of course, includes the newspapers. Today, there's a story about Sam McKay's daughter graduating with all honors from high school. She's going to college, too, it says. Sure enough, her dad has an endowment policy maturing. There's another prospect. Now he should be able to go further with his life insurance program with that endowment premium out of the way. The endowment check on that policy taken years ago will help him put Mary through college. Wise father. Lucky girl. Sam wouldn't have taken that policy years ago except for some prospecting prudential man. And he probably wouldn't take any more insurance now without another prospecting prudential man. Of course Sam knows the value of insurance. Everybody does. It's just that Sam is human. He's just like so many other people. He puts insurance off, postpones it as something he can pick up any time. He and his family would be in a bad way if the prudential man felt the same way about it. Sam needs the prudential man and the friendly service that ensures the future. Sometimes it's hard to tell where prospecting stops and selling begins. Not that it matters. What matters is those sales, the proof of positive prospecting. Prospecting is the key to sales. Behind every application for insurance lies the five fundamental factors that make prospecting the necessary partner of successful salesmanship. Prospecting requires awareness. Prospecting must be a continuous process. Prospecting requires the systematic coverage of all sources. Prospecting requires the recording of information. Prospecting is the key to sales. That coffee must be stone cold by this time. Huh? What? I said that coffee must be stone cold by this time. Oh, no, no, Gracie. Uh, it's wonderful coffee. Another cup? Mmm. No, Gracie. I've got a lot of prospects to see. Thank you, Gracie.